All right, so we're going to work on the column now. Um, I got a piece of half inch uh, square aluminum stock. I sent it in my four jaw chuck. Um, I already center drilled it. And uh, I got to take this down to um, 3 8 diameter for a length of um, 7 16 So um, I got my dial indicator set up to tell me how far I'm traveling. And um, so let's get cutting. I just want to take a just want to take a measurement here and s see where we are, so I could zero my uh, my dial on my cross feed. Now that we're cutting across the entire uh, piece of stock here. So I got four hundred. And 480 right now. 479. This has got to be a quarter of an inch in diameter. I think before I said three eighths. Okay, so two seventy eight. I got twenty eight thousandths to go. Fifty three, take a little bit more. I should probably do it. So, I got the column, uh, got two of the major uh, lines uh, laid out here. 
um, there'll be a there'll be a little uh, detail on each side, and then there'll be a, a taper turned on this. So um, I'm just going to uh, put a parting line on this so I know where to start and finish the uh, taper. All right. A continuous cut. I'm going to um, I'm going to move the carriage down and um, do the same thing down here. So that's the continuous uh, cut. Welcome back. Today we're going to uh, start working on the column in a little bit more detail. Uh, got this uh, in the vise. Two and seven eighths of an inch up from the bottom is the pivot point for the beam. That's a one sixteenth inch drill bit. I got my center drill in there. Going to center drill it. Drill it through with the quarter, uh, a sixteenth of an inch drill bit. Later on when I'm done with that, I'll come back to here, drill and tap that for a 256 set screw. See this tap. Uh, I would say without a doubt this is the smallest tap to date that I've ever had to use. Uh, put some safety tap on this. Running out of this, I gotta get some more. 